Hi, and welcome to another tutorial by Melissa Paz from Lazy Breeze Deals. Today I'm going to show you how to use Buffer and Flipboard to find and schedule great content for your social media platforms. So the first thing you're going to do um, is install the extension into your Chrome browser or you can do it on Safari. You can also get it on your apps, uh, you know, on your iPhone or your Android phone. So right now we're just going to do it with Chrome. I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, basically, you're going to go to the Chrome extension store, sorry, and search for Buffer. It's free unless you want the extra ones, but you could just get this one and you're going to add it to it and you're going to click add. Now I already have it, so it'll probably look a little bit differently for me, but it's you can have it as an app or you can have it as a extension. Um, of course, you want to install it as an extension. I've already done it, so it's not really going to let me do it. But basically, just go ahead and get the, the extension. Okay, so you install it and then you create your your log on. <clears throat> Basically, it's pretty easy. You put in, you can log in with your Facebook or your Twitter or whichever one of them you prefer. Now, once you've already set up your account and you've logged on with your email address and password or whatever method you chose to make it easy for you, I have all of mine connected. You could then go to your settings and choose to add on the different um, your different accounts basically you would just click over here on accounts click on plus and you can connect Facebook Twitter LinkedIn Google Plus and Pinterest right, which is great because with buffer you can actually schedule pins to go out not a whole lot of other social media uh, software have that option so basically, I've already connected mine, but it, as you can see, you just you know click on the plus and then you choose connect a group. For example, if I wanted to share to my eBay group or any group that I'm the one that's running it, I could choose that and it would automatically add information to my group. Okay, And that's pretty much it. And now it'll schedule it for you automatically based on what are the best times for it and it will analyze your accounts and tell you when is the best time so it'll do it for you or you can do a new posting schedule and do it manually you could choose whether you want it every weekday etc so you have all these different choices I just leave it on the autopilot because I don't really have that many different preferences but for Twitter it sees you can I could post five times a day uh, Facebook I have it set to post twice, LinkedIn twice a day, Google Plus twice a day, and Pinterest 14 times. Those are my preferences, but you can change that up and use it as you prefer. Um, it gives you analytics. It shows you what has been tweeted and what has been clicked on. Uh, so this is a really great way of seeing <clears throat> what is effective in your sharing and what isn't, um, and how much potential and all that great fabulous stuff but besides that it also can suggest content for you which is really nice it does that for your Twitter and for your Google Plus it doesn't do it for Facebook but it does do it for at least Twitter so you can go to suggestions and choose whatever applies to you, to you. Do you want to share a quote or something that has to do with tech? So there's different suggestions depending on the topic. So you can let them pick it. You can choose the different type of, of things. So for example, business and startups, since not something that we're constantly working with. The secrets behind many successful startups. And I can add this to my Twitter and that's done. Uh, inspirational quotes from top CEOs. It's added. It's added to my queue. So two of these will go out today that I already scheduled, and then tomorrow another two things will go out. That way I'm not bombarding my customers or my followers, but they're getting interesting, valid content. Now, 
it's pretty easy as you can see now once you want to find something to add on to it uh, one way that I have started to do this is to use Flipboard or sites like Zeit or the Daily Beast or just anywhere you prefer to get your content from but on Flipboard I'm following specific uh, topics that are of interest and that are relatable to my business. So for example, uh, travel deals is something that applies to what I'm trying to focus on, which is the, the travel niche in my case in particular. How not to overspend on a vacation. So this seems like an interesting article that I could share. And I'll take a look at it and be like, okay, you know, this looks good. I wanna share this. There's a picture and I can click on share image buffer is already running in the background and I can then it comes up automatically with Pinterest and I can choose a board and I could put travel the world or I could even create a new board so for this one let's go traveling on a budget and then I'll add things that are related to that I'm going to create the board I'm going to choose it how not to overspend on a vacation and I can put in the hashtags if I want to, travel budget, for example. And I could choose if I want it on Google Plus, LinkedIn, on Facebook, and on Twitter. Add to queue. That's now adding it to my buffer. I'm done. Now if I refresh this over here, it might take a moment. Now let's refresh it. See, tomorrow this will go out. How not to overspend on vacation with my hashtags, the link to it, and the photo, the photo and everything will <clears throat> get tweeted and pinned and all that good stuff. So that's how I managed to get content going without having to spend all day tracking it down and making sure that I don't over um, bombard my followers across the different platforms. Now we can use this specifically for eBay listings as well. If I want to use Buffer to share my listings, sign on to my eBay account here. a second while it logs on and say I want to promote this swimsuit just pick one sometimes the photo will show the buffer it image sometimes it won't Never mind. If it doesn't pop up, it doesn't want to right now, I can still save the image to my desktop. Click on buffer over here so it'll buffer the page with the link. And if it didn't grab the photo for you, then you can grab it from your desktop. You can click or drag onto it. I'm just gonna drag it from my desktop over here. Okay. Find the board you want it onto, and bam. You can edit some of this. And then swimwear, let's put a hashtag on that. Hashtag summer. And I wanted to go to Google+, Facebook, and Twitter. And they'll get posted at different times. That's what's nice about Buffer as well, is that it won't all go out at the same time. So, and we add it to Q. Let's refresh buffer again just to see. And there it is. And you can verify. If they were to click on this link, it'll take them to the listing. Right? So it's a great way to promote your items get content out that is social 
and not have to spend all day doing social media. You can spend 15, 20 minutes doing this once a week and then you have pretty much for the rest of the week. Now, Buffer lets you uh, schedule 10 things to go out for the free version and then once those 10 have gone out you can then add more if you want to be able to schedule a hundred or more things like that then you want to get the the upgrade which is ten dollars a month but it's worth it in my opinion because it's really easy to get marketing done and send all the things to your social media and make your accounts really interesting um, so I hope that pretty much shows you how easy it is to use it's not really complicated. Just setting it up, having it linked. You can even then set it so that you can email things uh, in the app version. You can set that up. And I'm not sure where you do it from here, but definitely on the on the email settings. Here we go. My account buffer by email. You would click on buffer by email, and then you would say yes, and it'll give you a secret email address only accessible to you and you would save it on your phone or whatever or your email account software whatever you're using and then if you find something interesting you can just email it to your buffer account it's really really easy to do but when you're on the laptop or the desktop then I just use the extension and again as I said I mean this works on Chrome Safari should work on uh, Firefox and even Internet Explorer I'm assuming but I don't really use those so I hope you found this interesting and if you have any questions please comment below and I will be more than happy to answer them and have a great day.